Folks, my next guest is a Tony winner and the late show's Melania Trump in residence. Please welcome Laura Benanti. You know, it has been, it's hard to believe, but it was around this time a year ago, because mm -hmm. it was the Republican convention in Cleveland, mm -hmm. that we, we first asked you if you could come on here and do uh, a Melania Trump impression. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'd already, we'd had you on before and noticed how much that you look like the first lady. How dare you, yes. And, um, <laughs> she's a lovely person, she's a lovely person. Um, uh, <laughs> what did we call you? Because I, I seem to remember that you did this on the spur yes. of a moment. So I was here promoting She Loves Me, and you mentioned that I looked like her, and right. then I never really thought much about it, and then... Neither did we. Right, exactly. And then um, the infamous plagiarized speech happened. Right, it was revealed that parts of the speech was taken from Michelle Obama's speech. Right, and I was down in Delaware celebrating my grandmother's 92nd birthday. Uh-huh. <laughs> 93rd? You go for 93? She just turned 93. That's fantastic. She just turned 93. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate that you guys asked me to do it without having any understanding of whether I could do it or not. Like, you knew I could do the face, but nobody knew if I could do the accent, because we'd never heard her speak. You're a Broadway star, baby. Well, that's true. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> You've got that indefinable it. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay, so how? So where'd um, you work on the impression? Like so on the train, my my parents drove my my mom and my sister drove me to Wilmington, Delaware. Um, yeah, thank you, one person. So I was on the train and I was like obsessively watching her speech. Yeah. And I was sitting next to this gentleman who looked very disturbed because I kept zooming in on her mouth and being like. <laughs> And like doing it, and the, and then like saying out loud like my husband, my hu and he was like, this woman is insane. <laughs> I feel grateful he did not call the police, sir. If you were watching this, that's what was happening. I was not trying to wear her skin like a suit. <laughs> so one of my favorite things is is your 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 vocalization impression of the first lady. I think is fantastic. One of my favorite things is when you don't talk at all, you just smolder. Sure. Just can I have a, a hint of the smolder at the sure, camera? Sure. 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 I mean, I suppose you've, we've, you've done her several times on the show. Uh, I mean, luckily for us, uh, uh, the, over the past year, I suppose you've thought about her as a person because to do yeah. a good impression, you have to think about, you have to sort of yeah. sympathize with the person. I do. What, what, like, what is, what's your impression of the first lady now after a year? I mean, I feel like basically now we are all Melania Trump. Like we are all reluctantly married to Donald Trump. <laughs> And making the best of it. Yeah, we're making the best, of, the best it. of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel like America is Melania. You know? Mm -hmm. I feel like. You can't spell America without Melania. There's no way to know. There's no way to um, know. But I feel like, you know, we, we speak many languages, we're mm -hmm. curvy. You know, we have a lot in common with Melania. Um, so I, 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 do, I do have empathy for her. I, I, but at the same time, I'm like, but you also chose that, so. Yeah. So did we. I, did we? Well, <laughs> the electoral college. <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. Do you ever like slip into her like at a moment's notice? Like, are you ever like out there and like you know I'm at Starbucks and like I'll order as Melania for these people? <laughs> no, I I like the idea though that she doesn't know what Starbucks is for some reason. <laughs> that she's like, what is it, Star and Bucks? I like both these things. <laughs> Like he's <laughs> he's built her her own Starbucks in her like bunker where she lives, where she's like, oh, this is she's the only customer. <laughs> Hello, Phil. <laughs> I'll have the usual. Uh, well, I, we 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 know that your your, your grandmother just turned ninety three. Yeah. You still your mother and you have a lovely relationship. You guys still you guys do cabaret shows together sometimes. Well, don't you? my your mo mother's a singer. My mother's a singer. She was an actress, and then when I was about two years old, she stopped acting because I had this wonderful nanny. Her name is Gertrude Regendo. She was from Cuba. And one day I turned to my mother and I said, Mama, you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> and my mom was like, I think I need to spend more time with my daughter because <laughs> she does not talk like me. 
Um, so my mom quit acting and she became a voice teacher. And so my mom and I just recently did um, a cabaret show at Feinstein's 54 Below, and it was the first time she'd been on stage in 34 years. Oh, that's so fantastic. yeah, it was amazing. It was so really when you were a little girl. So when you were a little girl in the house, and and when your mom would bring over uh, people to train mm -hmm. in singing, were you there as a little girl yeah. watching them? I was sitting on her lap, and she tells stories where I would be like three years old, sitting on her lap, listening to the student, and I'd be like, no, <laughs> nope, <laughs> yeah. You had your own private that was American very popular. idol. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. You cut. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she she was my voice teacher my voice teacher as well, and she was like super patient and loving, and a lot of people ask, what is it like to have your mom be your voice teacher, and they mm -hmm. assume it would be a nightmare, but my mom is such a uh, loving, funny, hilarious person. Well, she must be very good, because you have the voice of an angel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> Laura Bonanti, everybody. We'll be right back with Tyler, the creator. Stick around.